I was going to set the valves on this Honda engine. First of all, we'll get it top dead centre. So I was going to put that in there and just wait till it's at its always point. Just pull it out till it's at its always point. Just missed it there. That'll do. I'll whip the rocker cover off. So it should be on the rock as well. Okay. So see that's the top side of the centre now, it's on the rock. So I was going to get my uh, feeler gauges and check what they are set to now. So I'm just testing the bat. The exhaust is 0.2 millimetres, and it is just about there. These ones ain't bent, so it's hard to get them in. Well, could do with loosening off a bit. And it's not port one five for the inlet side. So that one. Yeah, that's perfect. These are both set pretty perfect, so if you want to adjust them, you obviously have to undo this nut. And adjust them and then lock it on again. I'm just going to do that now, but I've got to get the spanners. So that's it. The big one obviously sets the gap. You move that big one anti clockwise to open the gap and then clockwise just close it. So it's got to be 115, uh, 0.15. So I'll just get it. Put it in, tighten it down onto it, and just come back a bit. And then you use your 14 mil spanner to hold it, and the 10 mil to lock the top one. And then just double check it. It's gone too tight. That's it. Actually, it might be a little bit too tight, but I'll, I'll carry on and do it again. But you see how to do it.